friends, uh, good afternoon. I hope you're doing well on this Friday. Uh, it's a little bit cool outside, but uh, nonetheless, it is Friday, and I'm sure uh, a lot of you are counting the hours to uh, go home and start off the weekend. Um, anyway, just wanted to give you a real quick one here. Uh, you're probably going to notice that I'm mad as hell, uh, which is most of the time when I'm talking about these assholes down in Toronto on Front Street. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share some little tidbits with you. So in February of 2022, the WSIB announced this $1.5 billion they were giving back to employers. Uh, and the way that they po uh, postured themselves when they talk about that is that they had more money than they needed in the reserves uh, to pay you know, benefits, um, the ones that they tried not to pay. Um, and so, you know what, they came up with this brilliant idea, let's be generous and, and, and give this back to employers, uh, the ones that are supposed to be funding this system. Um, so anyway, that was in February. And then in June of 2022, um, they announced that they're doubling uh, those rebates. Um, and then again, in September of 2022, this is all in the same year, uh, they decided that they were going to double the rates again for 2023. So, uh, hey, we're in the spring of 2023. I'm sure that between now and December 31st, there's probably going to be more doubling or tripling or whatever. Uh, you know, they, they get creative with how they work out this math uh, and their generosity. And they also said, you know what, we're going to we're going to go a step further and we're going to hold the average premiums at a low rate in, in more than 20 years. So, hey, if I'm an employer, and at one point I was, um, you know, it, it seems like those at the helm, uh, like uh, Jeffrey Lang, uh, their commander in chief, uh, always bending over for employers to keep them happy. And I know some of the inside uh, details as to why they need to do that uh, but they don't really need to be so blatant and so flagrant about it um, now here's here's a novel idea so if you want to give I mean employers uh, you know they want to keep giving them these these uh, these incentives uh, to have healthy workplaces uh, but you know what so here, here's a novel idea for employers. Why don't you work to keep your uh, place of business safe for your employees who are going to go in each day to work for you to help you build your business and increase your net worth um, and so that hopefully at the end of the day they can go home to their families and pay their bills, feed their kids, uh, and have maybe, just maybe, squeeze out a little bit of enjoyment out of it. Um, but that, there's, not, there's not much of that going around these days because everybody's strapped. Uh, but hey, how is that, isn't that a good incentive for employers to, to keep their places of employment safe for their workers with all of these benefits? Why is it that the government has to continuously make this even sweeter. I, I, don't, I don't understand. And I'm not bashing employers, don't get me wrong. Um, I think that there needs to be employers, good employers, uh, because they you know, keep uh, people employed and earning money and everybody makes a contribution to the economy and, and to government services and all that. I, I get that, I, I get the whole math, but I don't understand why the WSIB has to continue to placate this group. And on the other side, uh, well, let's see what happens to workers and what they're doing within the same time period. So in, in April 2022, um, the Ontario government directed the WSIB to explore ways of increasing um, their weekly benefit by 5%. 5% 5 is peanuts. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to do a whole lot. But you may be able to afford an extra sandwich for your kid to take to school. 
with that 5% increase. Jeffrey Lang says, you know, in, in, in that uh, statement by the province that, oh yeah, our job is to help people recover and return to work. Uh, but not everybody can do it right away. So some people take uh, longer to heal. And we don't want them to be worried about putting food on the table. <laughs> right? This is what he says. And then he goes and says, uh, we're going to take a balanced approach while keeping premium rates affordable and predictable. Really? So employers get all this money and rebates to keep a safe working environment for their workers. And you give them more and more and then more. And with workers, you got to bring the employer premiums back into the whole thing when you're supposed to be a little generous to the workers. We got to keep these guys happy here because if we don't, we can't go and give you that 5% increase. Are you fucking kidding me? There you go. I said it. I said it. Yeah. There's no other word that can replace that and actually make that statement with such emphasis because we're all stupid. We don't get it. Uh, so anyway, they're going to do this whole exploration thing. And then in December of 2022, uh, when it comes time to set the uh, cost of living increase, they give the workers 2.7% increase in the cost of living, which really should have been 4.7%, uh, which goes in, in accordance with their policy. And that forced the uh, Ontario North Network of uh, Injured Workers uh, supports to file a, a lawsuit. Of course, they, they're there to help. They're, they're trying to be supportive of injured workers. But why should they file a lawsuit? It's like Mr. Jeffrey Lane. How many lawsuits did employers file to get their $1.5 billion in rebates and then double and then double again? Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. I, I'm pretty certain it's zero. <laughs> they didn't have to. Just open the checkbook and here you go, right? You know, stop treating injured workers like they're a bunch of charity cases. As dumb as a rusty doorknob. You condescending mouthpiece. And start treating them with respect. You know what? Shit stinks. And it doesn't matter how much potpourri you put all over it. It still stinks. That's, that's pretty much a fact. So, how are you ever going to give them a 5% increase when you couldn't even manage to give them that or set the cost, the indexing at 4.7%? It's never going to happen. Injured workers shouldn't expect anything from you, as always. Because it's like giving a little kid a candy, one of those suckers. You put it in the kid's mouth for a couple of seconds, then you rip it out and you toss it in the ground. That's cruel. Don't do it. Don't give them any hope. When you don't plan on delivery. So, how about this? Why don't you take that turd you're dishing out, roll it up, Stuff it in your pipe and smoke it with the bunch of you that keep coming up with these ridiculous ideas and keep bashing injured workers like it's a freaking sport. Hmm? How about that? Have a great weekend. I'll be back later on this evening and again on Sunday with more. Take care.